hello everyone and welcome back to my youtube channel today we're gonna learn how to create and deploy a token with BUSD rewards on Binance Smart Chain now what you need to create a token is the token contract which I will leave on the video description I will leave a link where you can download it and a metamask wallet with some bnb on it and the remix.ethereum.org website now what you do first is over here click create a new file and give it a name i will name it test.sol but you can name it whatever you want just it has to be .sol at the end after that go the, to the description and copy the contract code paste it onto remix now i will show you some changes you have to make on the code First, you will have to update the wallet. Here is the marketing wallet, which is my wallet. Already, you will have to change it to your wallet. And this is the BUSD token address, which is used for the rewards. Don't you don't have to change this change this to your wallet this wallet will get all the fees and here is the name at the section 945 change the name i will name it test token and the symbol will be test the symbol is like bitcoin has btc ethereum has eth and the test token will have it test after that this is the supply you want to have it's actually at one quadrillion i think but you can do as much as you want this can be called only once so once you create the contract you cannot mint any more any more supply after that we have the fees okay here here is the max buy transaction you can set this as you wish i think it's currently at 50 percent but let's do it five percent and this is the cell max cell transaction which is four percent i believe and the max ballot wallet balance is one quadrillion but I'm going to change it to 100 trillion. And uh, here we have the fees. Now this is the BUSD dividend rewards fee which also decides what's what the rewards going to be. If you set this at 5% the rewards will be five percent so we will set this five percent and this one is a marketing fee which will go to the marketing wallet i mentioned before which will leave at four percent now this one is the <coughs> the liquidity pool fee which will automatically go to the liquidity pool uh, all these three are fees 
on the on buy you can set different fees on buy and different fees on sell transactions I will set the sell fees for BUSD rewards at 10 and uh, liquidity at 2 and the marketing fee at 3 so the, the total fee when they buy will be 11% and when they sell it will be 15% So this is it. Once again, the marketing fee will go to this wallet. So you will have to change it and add your wallet. Leave this. Don't change this because this one is uh, the rewards token. This is the BUSD token, and this is the PancakeSwap router. Here you change the max supply you want to have. After you've changed everything and set as you wish, you can add comments here if you'd like. like uh, after you verify your contract people will go and check it so you can add your telegram here you can add your telegram link and after that go to the compiler select the the right compiler the compiler version you see here which is zero point eight point four then click compile uh, the code is way too long so don't forget to enable optimization here you see this error here so we will enable optimization with 9999 runs compile uh, when you see this green check mark here the contract is compiled so you go to the next step uh, make sure at the deployer, make sure you select the correct environment, which is injected with 3. This will uh, automatically connect your wallet. You can make sure by just checking the balance, which is 3.0, 3.0, or the last digits of the wallet. Now, before you deploy, make sure you select the right contract by looking at the name. This is the contract we named Test. Then click Deploy. And uh, you will have to sign two transactions because the first one will deploy a contract called Bibberry and the second one will pop up itself which will deploy the token confirm <coughs> now what we're gonna do now we will verify the token contract so we'll have uh, full control over it. We can change the marketing wallet again or change the max transactions or the fees.
you can change uh, anything anytime you want <coughs> we can verify the contract very easy by copying the code go to the contract click verify single file choose the compiler version which was 0 0.8.4 and the license I think it's unlicensed yeah click continue and paste the code here now what you want to do is here at optimization you need to, ch to choose yes because we uh, enabled optimization with 9999 runs and we go over here we will need the library because uh, it won't let us verify if we don't enter the correct library so we find the library contract here paste it and the library name is I think I didn't get it right iterable mapping mapping can't get this right you also paste the name here then add the runs you click here and you choose 9999 runs click verify and publish give it a few seconds now the contract is verified you can verify the literable making mapping with the same way and but let's now check what we can do now we have verified the contract you can log in with the owner wallet and after you after you add liquidity on on a pancake swap to be able to trade this you must come down here and write this as true to set trading enabled trading right now is disabled so I got I got a lot of messages from people telling me I deploy the contract and it's not tradable on uh, pancake swap or pool coin and other exchanges so to be able to trade this token you must come here and enable trading which you can do by typing true make sure it's not capital T because it will count as false and click right and confirm the transaction but the token will be tradable as you can see here the tokens will go to the deployer which is my owner wallet I have all the tokens so this is it guys thank you very much for watching and see you in the next video